So this is my Christmas message on Christmas Day. And when we look at the world as it is now, the bombing in Syria, so many displaced people in Greece and in France, children who are separated not only from their families but from any kind of future, we have to think about the Christmas story and remember that it centres around a child who is also a displaced person, a child who's born not in a palace but in a stable because there's no room in the wider society. And the Christmas story, whatever it's about, whether we're believers or unbelievers, makes no difference because it's about accepting the stranger, accepting the outsider, accepting the one who is other and not hardening our hearts. And all of us can do this in ways large and small. And it's also a story about miracles, because a miracle is an intervention in time. It upsets or disturbs the existing order. And a miracle's never convenient. In the Christmas story, the Christ child's born, whether we want him to be or not, it's what happens. And miracles are always unexpected. You think you want one, and then when it comes, does it disturb your life too much, or is it actually the thing that you wanted? And I think we all need to be alive to the miracles in our own lives and what they mean to us. And the Christmas story for the inside, I think, is a story of reflection and recognition, where we are now, who we are, what we're giving to life, what we want from life. And Christmas should be a time not just for getting and spending and being exhausted, but for having that time for ourselves, just to think about where we are and what we want to do. It really matters. We can use the season perfectly to change things if we want to. And Christmas is above all about love. It's about love for those people around us, love for ourselves, and love as an idea, love as the highest value, love as the thing that's worth working for. And love is the thing that needs to happen every day because love is a kind of invisible mending. It's what we do for each other. And sometimes we neglect love because we are so busy, because the world is fast and furious and we think that love will thrive by itself, but it won't. So of all the things that we need to remember at Christmas is how we give love to those people that we do love. You know, are we telling people, I love you? Are we making our friends, our family, our partners, our children feel wanted and safe and secure? And are we giving love in the wider world. That's my message to myself, and that's also my message to you. So at Christmas, I'm just thinking I'll read you a little bit from the end of my Christmas book, which is this. Light a candle to the dead, the people that you've lost. Light a candle to miracles, however unlikely, and pray that you recognize yours. Light a candle to the living, to the world of friendship and family that means so much. And light a candle to the future, that it may happen and not be swallowed up by the darkness. And light a candle to love. Lucky love. Merry Christmas.